dry. Welcome to today's episode of the Yo Yo Show, my friends. What do we got on today's episode is, wow, it's just one of those crazy things. Look right here. Now, we're at a school now. Baseball fields and football fields and all that. We're at This is the practice field. You can see the goal post right there. This is where the school practices. Little old country school out here. <sighs> Look at it now. You can see they've tried to cut grass and whatnot and show it, but this was a lot worse when I was here a couple of weeks ago. This is where hogs have actually taken over this whole practice field, basically. They got a little bit for football. This is a football practice field. Got a goal post right over there. You can see where the hogs have just come in here and just, they just ravished everything. And it looks like they probably drug over this a little bit and whatnot and uh, just trying to make it a little bit better. But they also said, I just talked to the principal or the headmaster, and he said that they had somebody that had some kind of soil leveler, but they didn't want to do it until the hogs are gone. Hogs come out of this bottom down there. We're going to go down there. I've been baiting up hogs. We've been getting ready for hogs to be trapped. So we're going down there about uh, two, th about 300 yards maybe, maybe 400 yards at the most. Didn't want to set a trap on premises of the school for a couple reasons. First, can't have a gun on school premises by law. You'd have to have the law come out here and dispatch the pigs. Second reason is I don't want to have a trap here because listen to all kids don't pay attention. All kids don't listen to parents or grown-ups or anything. Leave stuff alone. They'll come over here and they'll be wanting to trip the trap. Next thing you know, you got a bunch of rugrats running around in there like a bunch of wild hogs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, with that being said, I went down in the bottom, and our goal is to try to get these pigs taken down out of this bottom so that they can fix their practice field in order to be able to practice good next year. So, that being said, pigs are terrorizing the children and the school. <sighs> but they just don't know. I love taking care of little terrorists. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You can see that's the road leaving the school. And I was going to show you real quick. I can go down this road right here. And it's a set of gates down there. I had to shut the gates because somebody decided they wanted to ride down there the other night. So we can't, we ain't going to go that way. We're not, I could go straight down there and straight into it. But I'm going to drive around to the landowner's house where my trap is right now. And we're going to go to kind of go the long way. We're staying off the promises, premises of the school. I got a hog trap over there. I'm going to go show you what we're doing and where we're doing it at. It's time to get it, son. It's time to get it. Well, I got the trap loaded up. I'm going to head through the hay fields. Come around in the bottom side and get back to where we're supposed to be. <sighs> Let's get it, Barnes Crossing. Let's get it. So the landowner, he, he cut me a little trail to get down here. He know I be getting lost all the time. He said, your GPS ain't going to find you down here, son. <laughs> oh, baby, so we headed on down here. This is a, a, a initially where I seen all the hogs around that pool right there. So um, we got in here. And this is where we're going down here where we shot that big boar hog. But anyway, people been making fun of me on my Snapchat because of my, my pants size. They said my pants, my waist is longer than my length. I got them big 38s. I got them 38 drawers, not cool. It's just because them pants shrink up. When I wash them, they shrink up. I wear a 36. But they be shrinking up on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I went on and got them 38s. And that way, maybe they'll fit more. Like, I got 36s at home, them thing. They be cutting the circulation to my belly button off, you know? So, got them 38s. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we headed on down here. And uh, he's on up in the woods here. I like to kind of show y'all how I'm in and out and whatnot. Ugh. Where I go and how I get there, and that way you had a kind of a better idea of what I go through and where I got to get to. Sometimes people like to see it, and sometimes people don't. But it gives you an idea of what I go through to get to where I'm going. Kind of like story of life. Sometimes when you see a man and see what he does, if you know his story, then you understand why he did it and how he got there and what he went through to be where he's at today. All right, now we're in this old long stretch. This is where that old boar hog was I shot with the rifle. Look at that 6.5. Shot him at that evening and found him the next morning. 
farmer come, I mean, the owner come down and try to fix the road a little bit. You see, he been bringing a little rock in here. He's gonna try to fix this road right here. He has with his dozer. We're gonna go down here. We'll see y'all at the spot. Where we gonna trap? We just another 150, 200 yards. All right, guys. As you can see, I've been, had a camera there. Spot where hogs have been coming to. We've been getting them prepped and ready. And uh, hopefully we're gonna trap in this road. Now this is where I remember, if y'all remember, this is, remember the last video where I shot the hog? He was standing like right here. And you run over in that cutover way up in there and I, everybody was saying you missed him. He missed him, he shot high. And I smoked him. <laughs> smoked him. Anyway. <laughs> All right, what we're, fishing, what we're fishing to do is uh, set the trap up here. Y'all seen me set the trap before. I'm not going to show all that. It's going to take a little bit because uh, I'm just going to be taking my time and I ain't got that much phone storage. <laughs> so, anyway, but look right here. You can see, oh, man, I twist my ankle. See the hogs been coming in and out of this right here pretty hard. See those trails? They just live up in this cutover. And I'm just trying to show you, you know, what they're living in, what they're staying in, what they're traveling in. All of that, and they just go in there, and they're safe. And uh, well, not when I get the trap up, I'll try to show you the mud hole they got down here. So, uh, but anyway, they just go in and out. And they're just traveling all in this cutover, and they're just raking up everything they can. You can see the trails right there. They just go in there, and they just beat down paths, and they come in here and they scoop up everything there is that would help other wildlife, or they just tear up everything. But anyway. Let's get to work and I'll get right back with you when I got this old trap set up. that on for a minute so that I put that coin in there the safety will still be on uh, all right well, there you have it we got the uh hog guy at ground level pig guy I guess you said wait 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 we don't want to use pig eye <laughs> but anyway I got that set up and uh like I said we're trying to help the school yes it will help this landowner down in here but we're trying to mainly help the school which is like I said is only about three or four hundred yards uh yonder way through this thicket so Anywho, this is not a paying job. This is a helping job. Keep it where the kids don't have to worry about running up on the wild hogs while they're out on the playground or worry about the football team or just worry about, you know, anybody running up on a sow, worry about them tearing up the grounds. We're also helping the community. There's other people in this area along that road that are being tore up by hogs. So anyway, that being said, unless something interesting happens, we'll see you when we see hogs. Show you one thing first look at the hogs that come down to this little hay pasture uh pool you can see they've been rooting around in this right here and whatnot so oh just tearing up the edge right here making it real soft just rooting all the way around it they're looking for a cool spot and this is it but uh we're gonna see what we can do to get it done She may not be ready to be filmed, guys. <laughs> I get, she got to get her coffee in her, which I got to get my cold coffee in a minute. But good morning. I'm going to have a little special guest. My wife's going to come help me pull a few pigs this morning. Or video, depending on how well that coffee kicks in. I love video. Video, she says. <laughs> anyway, y'all know the routine. Let us get to go and get all our stuff together. Might have to get gas, cold coffees, hot coffees. Oh. 
our thoughts and mindset ready. But in which way, we'll be on the road here shortly and head to go get a load of hogs. All right, well, we got a few things. You can hear them hogs, but anyway, the stalk didn't work out. He crossed right here, and uh, we just didn't have the camera ready or myself ready with the trigger. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna walk up on these pigs since we're already down here. That's why we brought the old 22. Get that big, that big sow knocked down. The bigger sow. Oh. Good little load of pigs right there. Ooh, there we go. Here go goes the dust storm. Let me get the bigger one knocked down real quick. Like. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how many we got, baby, but there's a load of them. Okay. You're going to have fun dragging all them. Uh-uh. Huh? No. <laughs> she said, I'm just counting. It's a little gruesome one. Yeah, I don't want. <laughs> she don't like that part. And I understand it. It's not for everybody. But this is where that hog was standing at right here, baby. And what they do is they come up for you. See how nasty that water looks. You can see the where the hogs have been in and out of it. And all those hogs have just been rooting in that. Uh, wallowing in that. Not rooting, but wallowing it. It's loaded with frogs, though. Mm. Oh, but if the hogs didn't wallow in it so much, more tadpoles and stuff would survive in that. But anyway, we were... I mean, we were... You can see that big, the pine tree right there. We were just to the left of it. We can see that the white cattail looking thing. We were standing right there. And uh, and what happened was that hog, when I seen him, he was here. And he just walked right up here. He, he got right here. I mean, we were right on top of him. And then he just walked up this trail right here and walked on around. So, I mean, we were, she wasn't where I was as far as 
close wise, but she was filming. To, she was staying back to film. So we thought he was just, I was just going to tap out into the road and just, you know, with my mad shooting skills, you know. <laughs> so anyway, oh, now we get to walk all the way back to the truck. Yes. <laughs> exercise. Yeah, see. I get up, see, I get up every morning at 5 o'clock and go do this exercise every That's day. That's right. When you come home and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> this old folk got to take naps. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to walk back up the road and uh, come back down here. We'll dust off the uh, pigs a little bit and uh, we'll get started loading. I'll film. Oh, na oh Nash, you won't film. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I told my wife. <laughs> said when we slip up on this hall we got a nice road to walk down when we got down there uh it was just too wide open baby it was just too wide open but i didn't sign up for that you said it was a road that we could walk down not go through the grass would it look like that right there i mean <laughs> spider webs everywhere and she don't like no spider or nothing she's like at least i didn't scream <laughs> she's like almost did she's like I was like, what? <laughs> oh, anyway, it did a good job. Other than I just didn't get the, the trigger pull. You know, I did good. you did good. You didn't. Yeah. And then you could do great with these, with these pigs. Mm -hmm. Pull them up. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna pull them pigs. Y'all wanna bet? Y'all right now, we still got about another 10 minutes before we get back. 10, 15 minutes before we get back. Well, I mean, I gotta go get the trailer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so y'all put in the comments right now. Do y'all think she gonna drag them pig like I said? No. Like I said. I don't do what you tell me. <laughs> they already know that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dragging them. Uh, oh, dear. We gotta get, at least get one for the Instagram. No. <laughs> for, do it for the gram, baby. Line them up and I'll take a picture. Line them up. Okay, okay. Uh, you good? Her feet got in the way of her boots. Uh, <laughs> oh, she did get up early. I'm glad. I'm proud of her. She got up early, did her makeup. While I was out there loading up trailers, getting it ready like normal, she come out and she said, I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. <laughs> she wasn't ready. Uh, she wasn't ready for that walk. Uh, it ain't the long walk. It's the uh, the way we walk. Hiking. Yeah, it was the... <laughs> uh, much easier right here riding mm -hmm. a lot better. if that boar hog wouldn't have been there we could have just rode on down here to begin with but Yeah. All right, guys. Look, we're gonna we're gonna get my wife to drag one. It's just it's just you know it's gonna cost me a lot, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. All right. I get you. Oh, you don't want you want the big one or little? Oh, you want a little? All right. Let's find a little. Right here, baby. Get you one right here. You don't wanna do it by mine? <laughs> Huh, you want to be foot? I just can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that should be wrong. He said it did wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. There's a whole bunch of small ones in there. Fine job. You need to grab by that back leg. It'll, it'll help. Like far as dragging. 
It didn't help that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making it where you don't have to drag so many, baby. That's all. <laughs> We had to take a break. We'll be back. <laughs> I wonder what everybody else's husband got their wife doing this morning. Job, babe. You make a job look good. Well, we easing on out. Yeah, she was nice. She she drug a few peas for me. <laughs> I didn't make her. I just you know uh -huh. <laughs> I, I just coached her with a lot of pity. <laughs> No. Anyway, we're taking these hogs. We've knocked the heads. We've already called a fella. He wants them, so we're feeding the families. And then, baby, I gotta get on the road. I'm gonna take a nap. You gonna take a nap? A shower, then a nap. A shower, then a shower. A shower. <laughs> we're gonna take a shower. I mean, you're gonna take a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower, too. But uh, then I gotta get on the road, head to Louisiana to do a little speaking tonight. And then, uh, so that's about four and a half hours. And then about, and then I'll speak around six. And I'll head home. See you in the middle of the night. Let me wake you up. Mm -mm. No waking up. Mm -mm. I'll wake her up. <laughs> anyway, way, we are on the road and uh we'll see y'all. Whether on here or whatever, I don't know. We just have to figure it out. We got more hogs here, so we may just stay right here. <sighs> Let's roll. Hey man, I'm on the way. I'll be there in about 15, 20 minutes. All right, dear. Yeah. All right, buddy. See ya. Yeah. All right. Yes. What's up, pup, pup? Hey, I got the weed eat down there. But anyway, I got my stuff. I got my bow and a few airs, and we're going to Louisiana right now. Franklinton. Oh, Louisiana. It's 11 o'clock. I'm supposed to be there. Oh, no later than 5. So we're going to be pushing right in time to be there for me to speak about six o'clock or so so anyway i'm on the road for the next four and a half five hours <sighs> speak tonight speak at six get home i mean get done around seven ish leave there probably around eight ish and then get jump back in the road head home get home around one ish and then we'll see if we caught hogs between that time to be back up around five ish <laughs> we don't know so we'll see but any which way I'm headed on the road. I appreciate y'all. And uh, we're just going to see what happens in this video or not. But stick with us. Could be more hogs. Could just be more troubles. Who knows? <laughs> let it roll. Yeah. Let it roll. It's hot down here. It's hot down here with the pine. First Baptist Church. Looks like vacation Bible school might be over a little bit. But uh, anyway, got a little church we're going to speak at. They look. I think they're cooking too, so we're gonna be speaking and eating and carrying on. But anyway, I'm made. I'm down here somewhere, Franklinton, Louisiana, getting ready to do a little talking in about an hour or so. 
two hours. Whew. Long little ride. Everybody away! <laughs> I gotta have proof I was down here. <laughs> well, I pull over the side of the road, let y'all know I was headed home from, uh, I don't even know where I'm at, but I got four and a half hours, but my, my GPS won't pick up yet. So I can't figure out how to get home yet. I don't remember how I got here. <laughs> we'll have to figure it out here in a minute, but anyway, it is 8.19 and we are headed home. All right, as you just saw the hog action from last night, uh, as I was coming in, I got in about midnight, and of course about these times, uh, th by the same time the hogs come in, there's another group here. So will we catch those? They were in here, but uh, we shall see. Got my man Harlow with me today. Uh, it's been a while. Hey, Harlow. What's up? <laughs> oh, like I said, uh, everybody's always asking, where's Harlow? Where's Harlow? There's Harlow right there. Anyway, we're out and about. It's uh, We're feeding these, but bow season is in for deer here in the state of Mississippi, so that's what we're doing is uh, getting out. going to set some trail cameras. Uh, not going to move any stands today, but we're just kind of getting some locations of some deer for some places that he can hunt uh, by himself and whatnot. So, anywho, we shall see if more hogs come. Y'all stay tuned. Well, good morning. Kind of got lost in the hay pasture. They uh, started doing hay. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm. Oh, man. Headed on down this morning. Good morning. Kind of got to rolling this morning. Just going to get out here. Like I said, like to roll the hay up last night or yesterday. And so my little old bush hog trail didn't lead me through the pasture. <laughs> anyway, we headed on down here. I got some things I need to do before I get ready to knock them in the head. But we headed that way, boss. See what we got in the trap. I tell you what, being dry sure has helped in a sense of getting to places. But man, this old dust is rough. Oh, it's easy on down. This is that road me and my wife walked the other day. We were trying to stalk up on old pig, but we didn't get him. We're just easing down through here. Kind of letting y'all know what I got to go through to get to where I need to go. Like I got a headlight out or something. Maybe I just ain't seeing good this morning. Take a little small ride with me. I unhooked the trailer because, uh, it just makes too much banging and noise going on coming down here trying to ease up on his pigs. Even though, I mean, it's a truck we're easing up on with. It ain't got all that clang and clackety clack spooking everything. Or you'll have less spook. Let me say that. We're right here. One pig, like he's got a collar on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
one. That one tried to jump. I didn't like that. That one tried to jump. All right. to get some knocked down. I can't wait. Definitely gonna get the one with the collars knocked down. Well, good morning and welcome to today's episode of the Yelp Yelp Show. <laughs> Man, we got a load. I am jacked up now. I was a little, I was a little hesitant. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, of course, I'm waiting on daylight. All my help that I text didn't text back until I got here. So I hopefully I got some help coming. This is more hogs than what me and my wife got the other day, and they're bigger hogs. So, whew, dude, and we got two collared pigs, and we'll explain all that later on. But uh, some place is doing some research, and I cut the research out. I don't even know what hogs do. I know what they do. They destroy, and my job is to destroy them. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I got to go back and get my trailer and all that. And uh, it's a load of them in there, guys. It is a load, and I'm excited. I'm jacked up. I don't know how many it is, but we caught 17 the other day. Ever how many we got here? Uh, and we're like, I said, we're 300 yards from the school. The school will be so excited that we did this. So anyway, without further ado, we'll probably see you at daylight. <laughs> My son. Preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. With my help, my good help, that my great help. The man, look, he might not, he might not answer, but he will call back. <laughs> That's right. Oh, red. We got a load. Uh oh. And me and my wife caught 17 the other day in the I same spot. It's a competition. How many play me and your wife can drag? <laughs> I'm just saying, she drug a few now. <laughs> it's a load. Red. It's a load. They big, big hogs, too. Good. Uh, they, the other day, we drug them up, drug them out, and got them lined out for a picture. I think today, we're not going to worry about the pictures. <laughs> There you go. We just drag it. <laughs> we just drag it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we got a couple of collared pigs right here. And what it is, we have a local university that does some research. So I told you we talk about it here in a little bit. The research used to be, I used to help this with this research. It used to be you would trap a whole sounder of pigs and uh, dispatch every one but one, collar that one pig and see the research would be how does that react to going to find another sounder and whatnot. Uh, and then we could also take that research and say, okay, this pig's been hanging out on this piece of property uh, for so long, it must be with a new sounder. And we could actually go in there, bait, pre-bait, find it and trap that sounder. And then eventually we would put that pig down. Uh, and also they would do the research if that pig had any more pigs, piglets and whatnot. Lately, I think the, uh, the research was to see, they actually collared some deer and they uh, collared the pigs in the same area to see how they interact. So you would have those red and green lines crossing one another, uh, you know, kind of see that interaction. However, we're in a spot that this is the fifth, fifth collared pigs that we've had uh, in this 2.5 mile radius uh, triangle. Actually, I had friends catch here, catch here, and then I caught here and we triangled that off ourselves, our own research from just old redneck pig trappers and realize that this one group uh, of pigs have been collared in this area and turned back uh, to, see, to learn the research. One of those pigs had nine piglets. They were collared uh, in the February, right before turkey season, uh, because they did collar some some deer on the piece of property that I had, and uh, but we didn't allow them to collar any pigs. But any which way, just kind of give you a little research on that. And then they're, usually they're supposed to come back and uh, track these down, dispatch the pig, uh, rather with a rifle or whatnot, or trap them again uh, after so long. But any which way, me personally, 
I don't, uh, if I catch them, I don't turn them back loose, but I will take these off and I will return them to the university because uh, these collars aren't cheap and then they can take the research they've got since February, March and uh, go from there. But any which way, we got a load of pigs and maybe that's a little understanding of what's going on here uh, about the collar pigs. But when it comes to me, I'm a hired pig trapper and uh, all pigs have to be dispatched. So, Red. Yeah. It's time to drag. Uh-oh. <laughs> you ain't gonna do them all, I bet. Man, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, the buzz can eat them for all I care, but... Oh, they're, they're my good help right here. They're my good help, so... Anyway, we got <laughs> we got them lined up, stacked up, getting ready for a picture. It's a lot of work, ain't it, Red? It's a bunch of work. <laughs> so, just so y'all know, we do this for y'all. I mean, you know, I don't do it for my ego or nothing, but, you know, I do it for y'all. So, <laughs> that's uh 17 and we think 23. 20, 23. 23? All right. The man said 23. So, he's got more wisdom than us. So, uh, 23 plus a 17, 40. <laughs> we caught 40 hogs in this one spot and uh like i said they were nice enough to let us uh set up on a trap here uh instead of up there like i said three four hundred yards maybe the school somewhere around that three four three four hundred yards and uh but y'all know i can't set up on the school they won't let me have no gun on the premises and uh plus we don't know i mean y'all's kids might be like mine they don't listen when you tell them to leave something alone. <laughs> they might be, over here, might be over here tripping up in the traps or something. Who knows? Playing on it like a jungle gym. But anyway, we can fix and get some pictures. And then uh, one more time, Red, we drag them up on the trailer. One more time. You promise. Well, <laughs> one more time today. <laughs> and then we're going to head to Red's house because he might have a little hog action itself. So other than that, let's get the drag. Let's go. They say them collars are about $2,500 a piece. Well, that ought to pay for the corn. <laughs> yeah, we ought to be able to trade. <laughs> yeah. We need to do some trading or swapping or something. So we got a little ransom on the pig collars here. Uh, that's number 03. We need to cut the tags off too to go with them. No. Nah. don't know which hole get with you. No, nah, I'll tell they them. They ought to have that record as smart I mean, as they are. I mean, as smart as they are, they, they educate over there at that university. See, we just, what yeah, we just regular old pig trappers. We don't have we <laughs> we don't have to do no research to know what what these pigs do. They tear up everything. They terrorizing kids on the playground over there. Yeah. He's coming on around. What happened was we took pictures on that side because all the pigs on that side where I shot them so we could drag them out. But anyway, he's coming on out and we're gonna try to hook that thing. Yeah, you good? Whew, man, that's a load. I'm gonna worry about them tires. Put a little fresh air in there. Yeah. Ooh. Be a good time to be able to get one of them uh, double axles trailers. Yeah, that's what you need. What I need. We're gonna keep catching them like this. Let's roll on out. Hope we can make it to where our destination is. I got a load back there, son. So basically what we got is we just pulled over and got some uh, air from the landowner and uh, to put in the tires and hope we can make it. It was stressing it pretty good. And you know me, I don't hardly ever have no air on my tires, no way. So anyway, we're gonna ease on to where we're going. I got a guy that's gonna get these and dispense of these uh, fairly quick. As a matter of fact, I called him last night, texted him last night, told him. So. Uh, Everybody's ready. We just got to go get them to him so they can get the skinning. 
and then I gotta meet a fella and go pick up a trap. So anyway, we on the road. See you in a few minutes. Good morning. Oh, I just caught that hog about 6.15 or so. Jumped up. And uh, it's the big hog that have been that everybody's been trying to get or the one we're missing, I guess, out of this group. So I'm hurrying. I got about a 30 minute ride. Sun's coming up. I've been watching him. He's already pacing back and forth. Ground's really hard. Don't know if he'll stay. But we're gonna try to get there as fast as we can. Get down there and just get, get him knocked in the head. Y'all ever feel like you just can't get somewhere fast enough? <laughs> I am rolling right now trying to get there. Oh man, just hope this hog is staying there long enough for me to get him knocked in the head. Y'all stick with us, we rolling. All right, we can make to another road. Let's go. Guys, y'all think we're gonna get there in time? Oh, I'm so nervous right now. It's just getting way too much daylight and too hard of ground. And we on to the next road. <laughs> oh man, I'm watching the road. I'm just holding the phone, holding the camera. Oh, about ten minutes out from being at the trap, maybe. Seems like forever. Right. To the pasture part. It's kind of bumpy and dry and hard. Let's get it. Well, you can see I'm at the trailer. When I got in here, I pulled a trap up to see and uh, he jumped out. I knew he was going to. I knew he was going to. It was too late. He could see the other side. Like I said, I caught him at like 6.15. <sighs> He's a big hog, but somebody just had to hunt him, shoot him, whatever. But anyway, let's go down here to the trap. I'm <laughs> it just killed me. It just killed me. <laughs> so, Anywho, I got to take my trap to old Red's place. So, anyways, <clears throat> thought we could get here fast enough, but we did not. We did not. <sighs> but God made another beautiful day. Give y'all time frame at 6:56. Just loaded the trailer up, so I got here at 6:54. Uh, I caught that pig at 6:15, 6:16. He had already jumped out. Man. There's nothing sometimes more demoralizing when, <laughs> when a little hog comes in here. You catch him and he jumps out. <sighs> Goes from eating corn one second. Looking at it jumping out. <coughs> Walking right over in there and back to his home. Ah, all right. Well, we're here, boys, and uh, we're gonna break this trap down and take it to the next spot. But let me get this trap broke down. We'll talk about it. Let my feelings. Let me let me work out my feelings. <laughs> uh huh. Now, baseball field, the football field. Now. It, with all this trapping, you see where they tore up everything and whatnot. Let me get back over here across the road where the sun's not blaring in my face. But anyway, if the football field, the baseball field, softball fields did not have fences around them, enclosures to keep those hogs out, those hogs would have definitely went in there. That was 41 hogs that we took out. Should have been 42. <sighs> but I caught that pig early in the morning. Couldn't get here fast enough, but that's here or there. We lost him. 41 pigs knocked down a bunch of sows. 
had those fences not been around, the football field, the real football field, softball field, baseball field, they would have destroyed those fields. Uh, what else? The collars on the pigs. A local university does some research. I used to help with this research, but then I decided that I didn't agree with some of the research that they do. Let me hold my get my phone a little bit better. I don't agree with all the research they do. Used to, when we did it, we would catch a sounder of hogs, dispatch every single one of them, and leave one collar, and, and then kind of figure out, the research was to figure out what that hog does, find out if it goes with another, another sounder, finds out if it tra how far it travels, since it doesn't have anybody of its own kind around. And it was great research because we could find different sounders on different pieces of properties. And when it hung there, we knew it had to be hanging somewhere with that group of, of sounders. We'd go in there and we'd trap that group. And uh, you could knock them down. This research, they tried it on our club. I didn't really, I had no say so, but they collared some deer and they wanted to collar some hogs. And they wanted to see where the green and red lines cross, how they interact. Well, let me tell you something. I know how deer and, and hogs interact. Everybody knows how deer and hogs interact. We don't need some taxpayer funded research to tell you. But also in this 2.5 mile radius, uh, when I say radius, a triangle, I had friends kill between the two I got and the other three collars, five, me and my friends killed five collared pigs in a 2.5 square, uh, I don't know if you call it, like here, here, and there. Draw a line, that's a 2.5 miles in that triangle. That's too many hogs. It sounds like somebody took the whole sounder, is what it sounded like, and just called every one of them, turn them back loose. It sounded like somebody was lazy, is what it sounded like. So I don't believe in these. I don't believe in some of these programs. One of those hogs that was trapped and killed with a collar on it had nine piglets with it. Okay, so the program says we can always go back and find that pig and dispatch it seven, eight, nine months later. We'll have our research. The problem is collars come off of them. Okay, and then even if you did go back and get that one hog, well, that dude had nine, he caught pigs with nine piglets, caught a sow with nine piglets. So even if you went and got that one, you ain't gonna get them piglets. By the time you go back, they're probably gonna be up Schultz size. You're not gonna get them all, uh, unless you go back and try to trap if you can. So I'm just saying there's a lot of that I don't agree with. Don't mean that I'm right. I just don't agree with it. I just know that I don't have a degree in anything, certificate saying that I went to a university, but I've been out here. In this, I've been out here for six years. And if you go to college for four years to get a bachelor's degree of whatever you're trying to do, well, I've been out here since 2017. So that makes me have what? A master's? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm just rambling. I appreciate y'all tuning in. We just saved this school, hopefully, from getting tore up and let these kids play. Any which way, I'm just rambling. I hope y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Arr!